Спасибо. Either follows. Right here I've got a car and this lovely turbo. And we all know the purpose of a turbo. It is to compress the air going into the engine, into the combustion chamber. But what if instead of using it to compress air, we use it to pull exhaust gases out, to make it easier for the engine to run? Why don't we try and see what comes out of it then? Let's go. Check this out, guys. A turbo is spun up with the help of exhaust gases, and since we intend to pull those from inside the engine, we need something that's going to get the turbo to spin. And for the purpose, we've got this lovely 2.5 liter engine. We'll mount it in the trunk, connect the turbocharger to it, and the turbo in turn will pull the exhaust gases from the stock lot engine, creating a vacuum in the system. Well, at least we hope this is going to work. But let's get everything installed and get to the testing. Let's go. We are fully sealing up the exhaust, so that there are zero losses when we conduct this experiment. And of course, we'd like to know your opinions. Will this system work or will it not? So why don't you pause the video and share your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe, because we've got a lot of interesting stuff in store for you going forward. Now, the turbocharger is going to require lubrication. We are routing a hose from the cylinder head, that's the supply. As for the return, we are dumping it right back into the oil pan. The rev count has to be at a constant rate. And so we're setting up a handbrake-based throttle. Here's an interesting detail to all of this. The engine is mounted in the trunk, here we have the exhaust, and we'll have a pretty good view of the turbo doing its thing, with the 1JZ spinning it up to maximum velocity, for it to effectively suck the exhaust gases from inside the Lada motor. Once again, we're going to have a clear view, certainly good enough for us to evaluate what's going on. The exhaust is for a Jay-Z. As for the plumbing, we are setting up some hoses to supply oil to the turbo for the return line. Also, we are connecting the exhaust system for the stock lot motor for the gases to be exiting upwards. And uh, yeah, this should work very well indeed. Now it's a matter of finalizing the system and trying it out. Let's do this. Okay, guys, we are ready to go. We've installed an air filter, a radiator, and everything. In case you didn't notice, we've replaced the turbocharger. The reason being that the old one we just grabbed off of a shelf, and turns out it's broken. This one we've checked, it works, everything is great. And now it is high time to set this experiment into motion. The car itself, this Lada, well... As you can plainly see, it is anything but new, but it does move under its own power. And now it's time to use it as a test battle. Go. So look here, guys. We're going to start the 1J and see how hard the turbo blows. Let's go. Check this out. Ooh. 
switch it off. Not really blowing, is it? The fact of the matter is the Lada engine is turned off, so where is the air going to come from? I mean, it can pull a bit through some of the semi-open valves, but it's only going to be a tiny bit. But if we start the Lada engine, fire up both of them. No, that's a completely different story. With the Lada engine sitting at idle, that's still not very impressive. But the higher the revs on the Lada motor, the more gases it can give to the turbo. So that's how this works. And now let's try this system out. Let's go. I would like to drive around to see how this setup works. Start the engine, grab a gear, drive around slowly and work the throttle on the 1J. Spin the turbo up or wind it down. Modulate the amount of air that it's pulling through. See how effective the system is and how the lot engine is going to feel. How it's going to behave. I am super curious, so let's try this out. I have never tried anything like this. Excellent. And here we go. First gear. And I'll be taking it easy. Second gear. Now let me go for third. I'm not going fast, and... Okay, so I'm at speed. Not going too fast. Let me try third. The effect will be more pronounced. Assuming there are any gains to begin with. I mean, this is interesting. When I let the 1J wind down, and the revs are dropping, I sort of get the feeling... as if somebody lightly tapped the brakes. The car decelerates. You don't get the uh, inverse effect as if load was taken off of the engine, but when you... Something is happening, and that is so cool. Great, that means we have every chance to see some positive results. Jay-Z off. We are ready, the engine is warm, things are looking good, and now let's measure the acceleration with the 1J disengaged, and with just the stock engine running, the lot motor. And there's the matter of stopping it. So look here, guys. With the 1J off, the 0 to 60 km an hour time was 7.75 seconds. That is the number that we saw, which is fine given that we're carrying some extra load. And now I suggest we fire up that turbo, weighing 200 kilos, and... Uh, Pump the exhaust gases from the stock lot engine to make it easier for it to operate. I expect the results to improve, but let's try and see him. 1J on. And now we get to the interesting part. We've connected the exhaust to the turbo, and the latter will be pulling the gases out from it. We'll be timing the acceleration with the 1J pretty much on the limit, or let's go. Here we go. Come on, you can do it. Even, uh, look at this. Max revs. 
on the automotor were higher. Because, well, you'd know that this engine by nature is really difficult to get up to, I mean... Even revving it to six and a half thousand is not a simple feat. But to my own amazement, it was almost hitting seven grand. All because the turbo and the 1J were really helping it out. At the end of the day, I mean, this was to be expected. People have tried this before, well, they went about it somewhat differently, but this is what we did. And what we've done is proven once again that this is a working concept. So this would mean it's not a myth. If the exhaust gases easily exit the engine, then the engine itself feels better. You get increased power, higher revs, and that is awesome. We really need to figure out how this can be packaged more efficiently, without the extra weight, and at reasonable cost. But this worked, and that is great. But that's it for this video. You saw it all for yourselves, catch you guys later.